I just want to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of today's video. That is the Amazon UK App Store. They are sponsoring my channel and giving you a chance to get 1,000 gold for free worth about $5 in Amazon coins if you go ahead and download the Amazon Store today. You can also get up to 20% savings on any in-game purchases from here on out. As you can see in the quick infographic that's being pulled up on screen, you can save quite a bit of money using this deal. So go ahead and check the link in the description to find out how to download that for yourself today. And we're going to go ahead and get right into the rest of the video. What is up you beauties? My name is Bat Chat Begins, and welcome back to another fantastic video on the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at a tank destroyer that I actually like the absolute least at tier 10, and that is the Grill 15. They have made this tank the exact opposite of what it should be. They've made it this crazy DPM monster with this 10 second reload for a 150 millimeter gun, when it really should just have better camo. And that seems to be the one thing they can't touch because they know the actual tank will be good at that point. This thing has some of the worst camo at tier 10, barring the Death Star and the 4005, but it's right behind those two. And the problem with this is it's easily HE'd and has absolutely no armor whatsoever. The second big problem I have with this tank is the fact that it has some of the lowest penetration for tier 10 tank destroyers. It has about 370 millimeters of pen on the heat rounds, and that can cause problems. You're trying to get out all this DPM, but in fact, you have to aim very precisely with the grill in order to hit your shots, unlike something like a Ho Re or a 268, which can just load the heat and go ahead and go through whatever they want. This thing has to be precise, and unfortunately, because of the gun wiggle when you happen to stop the tank sometimes, this thing can be inaccurate. And that's another thing. The accuracy on the move for this tank is practically non-existent. I'll link a video above where I made an entire meme video on the tank making fun of its accuracy compared to the accuracy on the move of, say, a KV-2. When you're worse accuracy on the move than a KV-2 and your bloom is worse, you need to start asking some serious questions about your gun designers. But getting back to the Grill 15, how do you actually want to play this tank to succeed? Well, the best way to play the Grill is mid to backline. And you only really play midline if you have a platoon mate that you can trust that can cover you from being rushed. But most of the time, you're dealing with teams like this who lose all three medium tanks before you actually make a significant dent in the enemy team. As you can see, this team is down 3-2-0 already. Absolutely awful start. And that's the problem. If you're on the flank and half your team dies like this, you're next. So most of the time, you want to play the grill at the back line where you can support the team when they're falling apart like this. And with that DPM, it actually does come in handy to go ahead and start doing that. As you can see, we've finally taken out the T-57 and the tester TVP is already down as well. So now all we need to do is stay safe and try to get as much DPM downrange as possible. And it is quite boring in my opinion. And that's why I don't play the grill as often as I play other tanks, because I feel like it is very one-dimensional. It is the pinnacle of TD. Sit at the back and just shoot at tanks that get spotted. You don't ever really change positions that much, and if you do, it's still mid to back line. And that's the really big gripe I have. If this had a little bit better camo, it would be better at its job at midline. But it really can't because it doesn't have any camo. So like I said, it is completely reliant on the team. Much like the 4005, but less enjoyable because you don't have a massive clip. And it's got really bad camo value, like the 1A3, but once again, you don't have that massive alpha damage to be dealing with that. No matter what, we've brought it down to a 3v4, which is fantastic. The team actually sort of kind of made it back up. And the grill's gun is behaving, surprisingly. A lot of the time, it'll shoot these shells very far wide, or get spotted and nuked by those double TDs that were at the back. But luckily, this driver, Epic Frog, seems to be doing very, very well in his grill and seems to be versed in how to actually deal with the enemy tanks. Now, it's only down to the Jagdpanzer left, and once again, we'll just kind of go over what you should do to succeed. Stay mid to back line unless you think that your team is going to be able to hold quite well and that you can deal with the tanks that are on that flank. Then you can play mid line or potentially even close to front line. But most of the time, you want to have camo net and you want to be shooting from the back. Make sure that when you are shooting at the enemy, you are not risking your health and that the enemies are distracted. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. All relevant links will be in the description below. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. We're going to try and hit 2k by the end of the year. And with that, we'll see you guys in the next one.